Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. We will now continue with the mod modeling our computer. So if you haven't watched the first part, be sure you do. And now we need to model this part in here, but we forgot something. So just select tab out of edit mode. Wait, that was Q. And just select this plate and tap into edit mode ok select only the front vertices and extrude them scale them inward till about there and just grab them like just a little bit behind I think yeah, just just a little bit. Okay, now let's just is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Now let's just concentrate on this part. First, I will add a plain object. All right. Grab it. All of this adding takes a lot of time. You know, add an object, place it, and because there are a lot of objects, so that's taking much time. All right, I'll just model this in edit mode. So select the top uh, box, select the top. Vertices, yeah, my cursor is not in the middle, that's why it keeps adding objects, not not so focused. Grab wrong Y, alright. Um, grab along the X axis. Alright, so it's too wide. I'm going to do it with this one as well. Grab along the X to place it till about there. This one's too. And just select it all. Oh. But before that, origin to geometry. And just scale along X till about there. Alright, that, that looks fine. This will cover this part till about where is it? Till about there to this point. Uh, yeah. So I'll just press three and start modeling. In fact, grab along Z because it's not placed well. Now select these two vertices and where did I place it? No, um, Z till about there. Select all, grab along Z. Scale along Z zero. Okay, now it's placed well. So now select these two vertices and extrude them on the Y till about there. And now extrude them on the Z till about there. And I will keep going extrude till here and that will be fine for the moment in fact just let's just extrude it on the y we don't have a point here so i'll just grab it till about there good 
and this one is almost done. I will now make the bottom part, which again I will add a plane. Okay, this is getting really tiring. I rotate around X. Okay, so uh, shift C. So I will place my cursor on the center. Okay. Uh, this needs to be way smaller. It takes a lot, a uh, little time till I will model it. So I, I hope you can actually follow me, because I'm not explaining very much. Because this is, this is actually taking a lot of time, you know, modeling and retouching. So I just want to show you theoretically how to do it. No, it's, it's not that hard making a computer, but it it just takes a little bit. You see that most of the operations we did on this tutorial were quite basic, you know, just extruding and scaling, grabbing. And the modeling part of the blender is it's not quite so complicated, you know, it's not hard. You don't have like hundreds of tools that you need to learn how to use. It's just just some tools that you you must know how to use them. Right, so now I will add some loop cuts in here okay let's just say mm, 10 yeah let's try to return so control tab and uh, select the edge mode and just select every two edge so something like that yeah I think I needed I needed 11 loops so control R and add 11 loops loops loop cuts okay now select why can I select it yeah edge mode okay select every two loop something like that and just take them till about there okay vertex select mode that will be displayed now I'll just add some buttons in here the step out of edit mode so I will have to I won't have to move that much just add Shift S, cursor to select it, and add a where is cube object. Scale it down, and about here, I think it's my start button. Okay, scale along Y. Okay, let's just make so we can actually see it about there. That will be fine for the moment. Uh, Shift D to duplicate and take it here. This will be the boot, the button that opens my DVD ROM. So scale along Z. Okay, something like that. As I was saying, as I was saying, 
in the last tutorial I'm not going to place them uh, so precisely on this tutorial is the the placing will be in another tutorial so I just have some more buttons in here okay just duplicate this one and I have some lights in here like you know some LEDs that just keeps flickering like that alright maybe not that big just shape duplicate them okay three of them and after we model this we we pretty much finish okay so here we have one more down there one more object but we will add them in the next tutorial so just select this one and I will <coughs> tap into edit mode make sure they select it all and in here I will add a loop cut yeah, there and another one let's just say yeah I think it's there now select this one two three four five six one two three four five six vertices actually seven and delete the faces now again select the ball just alt right click a bit faster <coughs> extrude them inwards on the y-axis okay just scale along the uh, which one is it y oh z zero no scale along y zero yeah scale along y and tap zero okay this will be my usb slot it's something like that it's just something my, my usb and just shift duplicate these vertices in here grab them inward scale them down on the z alright scale them down on the x actually it's a little bit higher okay and make a face in here and extrude it, this one that's pretty much my USB USB for the input of the headphone I'm not going to model this very much just tab out of edit mode shift as cursor to select the tab into edit mode and I will add a torus object scale it way down rotate around x90 degrees sorry if I'm going too fast and I think it's a little bigger all right something like that duplicate it one for the headphone and one for the mic and all right now <coughs> I will add a loop cut in here and I'll just show you why so I can delete these faces yep I'm going to delete them okay let's select something like that select this loop in here X and delete the faces good now just Z and select all of this part in here to make another USB slot uh, Z shift duplicate it around actually shift duplicate and move where is it move it till about there on the X axis 
okay now just select these just have to manually select them and every vertice I make a face between them or no no wait that's not how you do it you could do it like that but just let me show you some other way which then I can show you a tool that is very useful in here just make a face and then you select every one of them and press J to join them so you can see that oh H no no hide them J uh, Oh damn, I keep pressing H, J, so you can see that this one is united. By pressing J, you don't actually make a face be between the two vertices, you don't just make an edge, but it makes a face between, between the vertices and uh, how should I say over the over the face so the face you can see that it it moves over the edge or over side face the edge moves over the face how you call it I'm too bad at English damn it okay this select all and just uh, do the same in here and uh, let me see how much time. Oh, four minutes. Okay. One more thing I need to do in this tutorial, and it's just a sl uh, just a slot in here, like an empty one. I don't actually know why is there. So just do the same thing in here. All right. Okay, now I'm damn sure that my English on these tutorials was so lame. So I promise, I just promise that I will get better at English and you will understand what I want, what the hell I want to say on the next tutorials. Alright, just select this and we will delete the faces. Okay. Although I'm I just wanna know if you understood me or no. Okay, one more in here. Mm, that's that's good for now. It's delete the faces. No, actually, I won't delete the faces. Why would I delete them? Uh, how did I do this? Let me just think a little. Uh, in fact, let me just try something. Yeah, I think I know. I delete the faces and join this one so we actually have some triangles in here too and these parts parts in here and the ones on the this side are the only ones that we have triangulars in so extrude that in okay not very much and make a face. Scale along uh, Y, zero, good. So I actually have something like this on my computer and I'm not sure why it's there. Okay. And I will just add another loop cut in here 
and in there it's slight because oh wait I uh, didn't uh, why does it this snap uh, I just grab along the x-axis okay make a face in there or just select these ones and join and then make a face no, face okay uh, this didn't go as a planned this part in here Okay, but it's it's just fine. That doesn't matter so much. Okay, you you actually can't see this part so much, so it's fine. Okay, ma make sure you delete the uh, the faces that you can see after you. United, so this one you cannot actually see, so delete it. This one as well, and this one. Okay, I guess that's fine for now. In fact, I'll just delete these faces, or maybe not. No, yeah, just select this one and make a face. Okay, that pretty, pretty much sums up this tutorial. In the next one, I will just arrange them all and it, it will look nice. The back backplate actually takes a lot of time. I'm not sure if I have time to, to show you how to model that one. Maybe on the future, if I have some time, I'll show you how to do these buttons in here and stuff that's on back. So. Sorry for my red English again and see you on the next tutorial.